You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures team. Ijoma, there is some development I am not happy about. That's why I called to talk to you about it. Now listen to me. I am your husband first. And then the king of Umuabaja. I am the head of this family and the king of this kingdom. I determine what happens in my family and what happens in this kingdom. You have broken the laws of the family by embarrassing the throne of Umuabaja before all the elders of this community. Why? What have I done now? Nobody has a right to discuss whatever happens in the palace, outside this palace. You know that it's been a standing law in this palace. You broke that law by disseminating information which you know is false. Who said it is a false one? Eh? I'm sure that Fulani woman has, has charmed you. I see. You see, you remain adamant. You remain unrepentant. Okay. You leave me with no option then but to withdraw all your privileges in this palace. Henceforth, there will be no more maidens, there will be no more attendants. I will give you four days to purge yourself of this stinking contempt. At the end of which, if you don't, you leave me with no option but to announce the order to the entire community and you will lose your place in this family, in this kingdom. Has it come to this? As our people say, a stubborn fly follows a chopped head to the grave. If a child serve, its mother will not sleep. That child has to remain awake to ensure that the mother does not sleep. You have four days. Okay. If that's what you want. Yes. Four days. You have four days. No more, no less. Come here. Your Highness, but the king forbids any form of assistance to you at this moment. I am the queen of Umabacha. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but I need to seek the king's permission before I can do anything for you. Fool. Senu Mama. Senu Dako. Yeah, yeah. Um, Your Highness, the king said I should bring this tubas of yams to you. Oh, thank you very much. Maiden, Your Highness. Collect the yams from him. Thank you. I send my greetings to the king. So, Your Highness, Senu? I will do that. Senu? Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Senu. Which? See what you and your useless daughter have cost me in this compound. I'm going to deal with you, and by the time I finish with you, your people will not recognize you again. Medins, yes. you can go to your hut. Yes, yes Mama. Come back here, all of you. Return to your huts. Nonsense. Fools. Idiots. Witch. You will see what I'll do to you. I will deal with you. Back on! Why are you running away? You should have stayed and see what I'll do to you. You are not wise. How can you be playing with those who are planning our downfall? 
Mother, I think you're the one fanning a non-existent fire. These people haven't done any evil to us. Will you shut up? Shut up, you stupid child. Did you hear yourself? Now listen to me. Amira is the first wife of King Ugochukun. And she gave birth to her daughter before you were born. So if anything should happen to, to the king, they should have an upper hand. And that's what I've been fighting to stop. That woman has charmed your father. And the king has given them all his love. Very soon, they will throw us out of this kingdom. I see. No. Don't see it, oh. Don't see it until you see yourself thrown out of this kingdom and out of the inheritance of the king. Nobody would dare that, mother. If you don't act fast, you will see it. Mother, remember we just have two days. Two days to turn the heart of the king from his decision to report you to the elders of Umabacha. I am not bothered. Let him do his worst. Mother, worry about yourself, my dear. It has been four days since I asked my wife, Ijoma, to purge herself of contempt and retract all what she had said. She has not done that. If by sundown today she has not apologized, then she leaves me with no option but to strip her of all her privileges as my queen. In addition to that, I will have to kick her out of the palace. What do you want? I come as your wife. I kneel before you to ask for your mercy. My Lord, you will not destroy what you are meant to keep. I'm so sorry for all my foolishness. Please forgive me. given you and I hereby restore all your entitlements as a queen you can go now thank you very much my lord may your reign be forever Okay, let's go. Wait. Go ahead. Eh? I'm coming behind you. Right away. Nani? Nani, what's the problem? Akoma, there is an emergency. Oh. Eh? So hold on. When I come back, I will explain to you. Go Biama. Go Biama. Go
Okay. Okay. Stop crying. Stop crying, please. It's happened to all of us. Elders of Umabasha, evil has befallen us. Our eyes are dripping with tears. Igbo was so good to us, but now he's gone. He has gone ahead of us. We will all go, but at our own different times. Now we will do what is expected of us, what is required of us by custom. That is, properly announce his death to the people of Umabacha and prepare a befitting burial for him. <laughs> Sun, the pride of every tradition, the strength and glory behind many men, with the power to heal or the power to kill. She's a woman, she's a queen, she could make it right or break it down. She's as charming as the sun, yet so dangerous like a scorpion. Oh. Whatever it takes to get whatever she wants, she can be whatever she wants to be to get to your heart. She can tear your home apart and make a home of your house. Never underestimate the power of a woman. She's a woman, she's a queen. She can make it right or break it down. She's as charming as the sun, yet so dangerous like a scorpion. Oh. Don't worry. When I become the Igwe of Umabacha, I'm going to have pity on you. I will not send you into the evil forest. No, 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 no. That will be wickedness. Um, I will send you back to your people in the north. So stop crying. Okay? Hmm. I promise I will not send you to the evil forest. She came to meet us here. Why she was talking to me? The thunder struck her. Don't want her to die. Don't want her to die. Let them see me, Mother Anna. I don't want her to die. My queen. My queen. I don't want her to die. Who is Buba? Oh, Baku. I'm sorry. I was lost in deep thoughts. Princess. Don't you think you're taking the death of the king too hard? He was a great and compassionate king. I miss him too. He was like a father to me who had none. 
It's okay, Bako. Now, how did they find me? I've searched everywhere. But call it a cattle boy's instinct. <laughs> um, princess, your mother wants you. I'll be with her shortly. No, my princess. She wants me to come with you. Okay. Bako. Yes, my princess. You know I like you. Go back to Saniba. Princess, please. What? Don't put me into trouble. I am not worthy of this. I am just a servant in the palace. It's okay. Let's go. Salam alaikum. Your Majesty the Queen. <laughs> what an honor. Chai! What do I offer you, Kazuna. my Queen? Kazunang, Kazunang, Karikadamu. Chief Priest, I've come to ask about the Queen, my husband's wife. Do Allah, how is she? Your Highness. She is in a very serious condition now. She can neither talk nor see well yet. Right now, Your Highness, she is in a very deep sleep due to yesterday's sleeplessness. Haba. Chief Priest, so she be left alone so that she can rest? Yes, my Queen. Yes. Sanu? Sanu? To, I guess you won't eat her. Say me well to her. Okay. Sanu? Okay. Sanu? To. I should be on my way. Okay. Sanu? Okay. Say me that. Say me to him. To. My kinsman, I am worried. I worried about what? Uma Bacha. Okoro, what about Uma Bacha? When there is no head, the body decays. A throne without a crown is like a body without a head. Uma Bacha is without a head. Mm. Okoro, you're not alone in your worries. I've been thinking about that too. But I know we'll find a way out after the king has been properly mourned. Um, please, who has gone to seek Queen Jamaleti? I've been too busy. I'm not even going to see the Haba man. Her condition is bad. She still does not talk. And her sight has become very bad. Che! What has Umabacha done? What have we done? Why should all this come upon us like this? Eh? Nothing happens without a curse. Only the gods understand why. Mazimbaka, shall we not pay a visit to the oracles? Maybe the gods desire some more here. I think you are right. I'm going to call a meeting of the elders to discuss your suggestion. Please. Please, let us continue with our roasted here. Okay. But I greet you. We greet you, Mazimbaka. 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 Mazim
The man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. That's true. Uncle Mary. Our house is on fire. And if we choose to chase after rats, the house will be burnt down. Umabat is in trouble. Maybe the gods are angry with us. Man Zimbaga, I'm at a loss. Please, could you set our feet down? You are at a loss? Yes. Madi, are you not an elder? Can't you open your eyes and see what has been happening to us? The death of our king. The thunder that brought down this, his second wife to the ground in broad daylight. Why must we continue to think, to pretend that nothing is happening to us? Why? Hmm. of Mabacha. If we refuse to find our black goat in the day, it will be difficult to see in the night. I suggest, let us go to Doracos now before the water gets to our necks. That is my suggestion. What do we say? The man who has boy seeks after the man who has the knife to remove the boy. Mm -hmm. I suppose we seek the help of the oracles. Is anybody opposed to this idea? No, 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 no opposition. opposition. A good suggestion? No opposition. So, we are going to the oracle? Yes. Is it correct? Yeah. Is he not coming? Let us wait. Are we going to the farms? As long as he delays, let's wait. Yeah. Oh, he's here. There is darkness in Umabacha. Wickedness has run through the high places. People's minds are not clean. And the gods are not happy. Eyes of the gods. What can we do to stem the anger of the gods? For every household should appease the gods in their various families. For those who has provoked the anger of the gods, they will pay. They will pay. We've had it. We've had it. Let us now go home and do as we've been told. sitting here all by yourself. Come and join us. Me, 
Ana hii Miki. What did I do to her? My princess, you're welcome. You work very hard. Don't you ever rest? Oh, my princess, I... I have to do my duties as I'm called upon to. A man must find a way to stay by himself and rest. I brought some water for you. You have done enough today. You must rest a little. But my princess, I, I cannot stop work now because I have not finished my portion of work for today. Who said so? Royal order. I am a princess and I'm royal. I order you to rest a little. How about princess? Minini? This is royal order. If you work too hard you age quickly. Okay. That's your your royal to please this. I shall get your food ready soon. Now I'm refreshed. No. To continue. No. You must stop the work and rest a little. I shall get your food ready soon. Hey. Princess. This is too much for me. Hey, Paco. Nai Abunde Yazo chicken zuchiana. I am doing what comes from my heart. Geskiani. Well lahi de geskia. Thank you very much, my princess. Thank you. Bako, what are you doing, sitting down there idle, leaving your work undone? I'm sorry, my princess, but I have a royal order to rest for a while before I continue work. Royal order? Who from? Princess Samira. <laughs> Samira ordered you to leave your work undone. No, she ordered me. You should thank our forefathers that my mother is not around. If not, you would have felt the fire in her anger. Baku, I order you back to work immediately. As your royalty, please. My Fast. princess. What is the problem? You look downcast. I feel like getting away from this place. I want to leave. Hmm. 
No, I want you to stay here with us. We treat you well. Samira, you and your mother have been so good to me. Your mother treats me like her son. But I'd rather go back to grazing the cows than remain here and be treated like a slave by Ijamaka and her mother. But Ijamaka's mother is not here anymore. But her daughter is. She doesn't like me. She's always picking faults with me. Haba. If she does not, will this make you run away from the palace? What will I do? Huh? What will I do? Maybe I should go back to where I came from so that there will be peace. Here. She's always quarreling. Eh, I see. Both of you are having a good time on my name. Hmm? Gossips! I knew that is all you know how to do, you lazy boy. Samira, if you choose to fall in love with a palace servant, must you do that using my name? Ijamaka. Neya Faru. Why are you talking like this? Bako is not a slave in the palace. He's just like anybody in this household. What did you say? Eh! Hey, you now want to make him a son in the royal family. Okay. That is not what I say. What I say is that he should be treated with respect. Uh -huh. You want to turn me into the wicked woman. Then you, Samira, the good one. Okay? Oh, please, please, for Allah's sake, stop quarreling. You are both sisters. I am the stranger. Please, I don't want to be the reason for your misunderstanding. Shut up! Who asked for your advice? You are very lucky my mother, the queen, is not around. If not, you would have felt the fire of her anger. She will kill him. She will only be angry. Let us not be selfish with ourselves. Hey, Samira. You will see. I will see. Iga dafu. But then gan. You will see. But I will see. It's not sweet. But then gan kumi ba walai. Be falling in love with a a slave. Princess. You will see. Please. Forgive it's okay. Me. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize for anything. It's okay. Up with it. We won't spend the whole day dressing up. Yes, Your, Your Highness, we're, we're almost done with it. <laughs> Mother! Mother! Oh, Mama! Hey! Hey, hey Mrs. Mama! Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Your Highness, you are welcome. welcome. Hey, Jama. You are back. Say no. No, I'm not back. You thought I was going to die there, isn't it? Habi Jama, don't talk like that. How can I have such evil thought in my heart? Because you are real evil. You're an evil woman. Um, Your Highness, we welcome you back home. Thank you. We thank uh, our forefathers and the gods for sparing your life. Um, you will not go back home, and please, you people should make no further troubles. You know I'm not a troublemaker. It's my enemies who make trouble with me. My husband, thank you very much. Your Highness, please remember what the Debia said. You should rest very well. I will. We shall see you tomorrow. Thank you, my husband. Rest well. I will. My husband, you are welcome. Send me. Sit down. Mates. And the three of you no longer mates. I call mates and you are still standing there. Your Highness, we are, are telling to our Majesty. What? What did you say? Her what, Majesty? See, before I open my eyes, the three of you are prostrating before me now. No, what is all this? Will you all get back here? <laughs> oh, you are now bored, isn't it? I can see you are now bored enough to talk. So, you want to start tussling for power with me in this palace, isn't it? 
Ijoma, listen to me. Nobody may do anything higher than myself in this palace. I am the wife of a king, just like you. I have every right, every privileges. As the wife of a king, Ijoma, why do you like fomenting trouble every day? Fatna Bachao. Some me, Ijoma, the queen mother of Umabacha, troublemaker, isn't it? I'm going to give you real trouble, and real trouble you will get. Ijoma, I bet you I will see nothing. I will see nothing. Haba! Kulu, kulu, madana, madana, madana. Ijoma, father, bachao. I hope they didn't do anything to you. They dare not. There's trouble in the palace. Trouble? Yes. What trouble, my husband? I heard that the wives of late king are fighting and tearing the palace down. Hey, hey, my husband. You kill yourself when they say what you don't know. Huh? How can the wives be fighting when the king's second wife is seriously sick in the bear's house? So you don't know that uh, Lolly Jama mistrusting recover from her illness and has gone back to the palace. Hey! I die. My husband. How can you be telling this kind of lie in a broad daylight without any shame in your eyes? Me telling you lies. Okay, let's put a bet. Tell Malilas, my husband. I agree. Tell Malilas. Then I'm going home. No, not home. Both of us are going to the healer's house so that you see the king's second wife in your eyes in her sick bed. Okay, and after that we go to the palace so that you see Lolly Joma in her recovered state. Okay. No problem. Let's go. We are here because of the situation in the royal family. We are not happy the way the two wives of our Igwe, late Igwe, has been living lately. So we are here to see how we can help stop all the feuds and conflicts between them. Women, there are no reasons why you people cannot live together in this place in peace. Yes. Elders of Umabacha, hear me out. I am the queen of Umabacha and therefore deserve all the rights and honor given to a queen in this palace. I don't know where they brought this woman and her child from. If they must live in this palace, they should live like servants. Hey! hey! What is hey? There is no hey about it. They should learn to submit to authority. My authority. Um, queen. Queen, wife of Uguchuku, I want you to listen. We the elders realize that you are a queen in Umabacha by virtue of being the wife of Igwe. We also realize that Amira is also a queen in Umabacha because she was married to Igwe. I don't know if what I have said is clear. I was coronated with Igwe and that makes a difference. We were not unaware of the other woman either. Mm -hmm. All we are asking is that the royal family should live in, in peace. peace. Simple. Stop. Ah. My husbands, I greet you all. No. I was married to the late king according to the traditions and customs of my people. Oh. And when he was invited to ascend the throne of his father. I was properly informed and I gave my blessings. Before I came to Omar Abacha, I knew my position. I knew my position as the first wife of the king. What position? The first wife of our late husband. Did you hear that? Quiet, woman. Quiet. Keep quiet. We are the elders looking into this case. And I am the queen. You listen to me. We are the elders. If a man calls his basket useless, children will use that basket in disposal of refuse. Because, our wife, we are elders of former Bacha. And we have some powers. Even over the king, if we are still alive. So allow this woman to talk. Ah, in fact, you listen to me. 
do not push us into using our extra powers as elders and king makers of Ruma Bacha. I see. I see that you have ganged up against my daughter and I just because my husband is now dead. Your Highness, don't look at it like that. We can't maltreat you because your husband has died. He was our king and our kinsman too. Please, what we are asking is that you should learn to live with Amela. Simple. I have heard you. In fact, there will be plenty of peace. The matter has not even been concluded. And uh, I cannot understand all this. Uh, how can you people sit me down and be humiliating me before a woman you, I don't know where she, she was brought from? Eh? A woman who cannot speak our language. She does not know our culture. She cannot cook our food. She was not even connected with my husband. Eh? Just because my husband is dead. You people want my daughter and I dead. Okay. I'm looking for a person to judge you people. My husbands, I greet you all. I will do my best. I will try all I can to live in peace with her. Thank you, Amira. <laughs> Thank you very much. Paco. My princess. Why are you so close to her? Who? Samira, why are you so close to her? Both of you are too close. I don't understand. I see you like her very much. Princess Samira is a very good person. And she's very caring too. You're trying to say that I'm not caring? I have not said so. So what are you trying to say? I have not said so. Mother, what are you doing with it? With this, this thing? Uh, mother, I was only trying to... I don't care what you're trying to say or do. I don't ever want to see you near this thing again. And you, Bako? Your Highness. I don't want to set my eyes on you with my daughter again. If I do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send the palace guards to flog the hell out of your eyes. I understand, Your Highness. Slave her. Salam. I have been looking for you everywhere. Why are you sitting here all by yourself? That woman has made my life so miserable here. What have I done to her? You shouldn't let her attitude affect you like this. She's a troublemaker. And everybody knows it. She called me a slave. What? When? Why? Her daughter was asking me some questions about us. Were you, Alana? About us? What about us? She asked why I am close to you. And then her mother came in and got so angry. She warned her never to be seen around me again. And that I'm a slave. I don't really know what is wrong with her. I don't know why she's so unfriendly to everybody. 
I, I feel like running away from this palace. Paco, don't even think about that again. They may not like you, but my mother and I do. Koba Kasani Bani. Thank you, Princess. You're welcome. I am so encouraged. Come and eat your food. Come. You better to Twitter. Will you come back and sit down here? I said, come back. What's your business? It's okay, sorry. Don't cry. Let me go and see how she is. What's wrong with my mother, the Adla? What is the pattern? Oh. 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 This is a very sad moment. The death of one of the queens is a very sad event. We are here to control the family and to start planning the way forward for Umabacha. Any crown without a head is an empty crown. <coughs> Your Highness, the Queen, please be strong. And don't let this sad event wear you down. I'll try. Our ancestors will help us bear this loss. Remember, we are humans and not gods. If the gods say yes, we can't say no. You must bear the loss. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. As soon as the morning is over, we will not delay efforts to find a new head for the throne. That will be good. We'll be waiting. Wait. Are we not going to go to the oracles to ask after the death of our king and queen? <laughs> One morning, we woke up to hear that our healthy king has died. Just like that. And then again, one of the queens also dies without being sick. I, I, I think this is highly abnormal. Ude may be right. The death seem very strange indeed. I suppose that we should consult the oracles. My elders, the royal family is in a sorrowful mood. It won't be nice if you start consulting the oracle before we finish mourning. Please don't add to our sorrow, please. We will wait till after the morning. Hmm? Thank you. That will be good. I want my coronation after the morning. And I wouldn't want an elaborate coronation. Your Highness, we will do everything in accordance with the customs and traditions. Come here! What are these things in 
Don't be your hand. I found it lying by the word here. I was thinking of coming to ask if it belongs to you. So you're the one that stole my Aka? Huh? You found that lying on the walls? Eh? They walked to the walls. Your mother's walls, isn't it? I did not steal it. I only found it lying by the words here. Come on! Everybody come! Come and see the thing we have in this compound. Are there no people around? I did not steal it. I only found it lying by the words here. That's what I'm saying. They walked to the walls. I did not steal it. You did not steal it. I only found it lying by the words. She here. stole my Aka! Oh, no, I eh? She stole my Aka! She's the thing we have in this compound. Hey! Okay. By the time you face the elders, you tell them whether you stole it or not. Dad! Boko will even say this. Dad! Shut up, I say shut up. Shut up, shut up. That is the kids we have in this compound. She stole my Aka. Now take her away. I did not see you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I did not see you. Leave me alone. Back up. Where are you going to go? Come back here. Why are you going to go? You look at me on the two posts. I said, go. Okay, you are used. Please. Hey, that's a full man, Bacha. The case before us is very clear. Anyone who steals Unuma Abacha will be sent into the evil forest of Otakago. Oh, man, man. Our daughter, the princess, has broken the law of Unuma Abacha. She must be punished. She has two weeks in that evil forest. If she survives and comes back, she's free. Well, her accusers will be left in the hands of the gods. So, a princess will be sent into that evil forest. Elders of Uma Bacha, I did not steal the queen's jewelry. Our daughter, the gods we see to eat. you've committed we will not answer for your blood what men so the reap if you're innocent let the gods save you if you are not pay for the crime you have committed Is
child must not return to this palace. Not as long as I'm alive. She must die. You must go to attack Ago and kill her. Your Highness, this is a hard task. Nobody goes into Otakago forest and returns alive. Don't worry. I have an antidote for that. I am going to give you a substance that will protect you from the forest. Your Highness, she will not leave. That's all I want to hear. Now go. Yes, yes Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. I suggest we should go back to the palace. Without carrying out the queen's order. Have we not tried? For two days now we have searched the entire forest without any sign of her. And I'm sure the princess has been eaten up by wild animals. You're right. You're right. Samira is no more alive. I'm very sure she's dead. So let's go home before something happens to us. Yes, let's go home. The whole world belongs to us now. Oh God, I am the only queen, and you are the only princess of Umabacha. Very soon, I will take over the control of the royal household and the rulership of this entire kingdom. And you will be the only princess and everybody will serve you. Oh, I wish Samira is alive. Shut up your mouth. Why are you so foolish? What is the matter with you? Our ancestors in their infinite mercy have put away all obstacles on our way to rulership. And you are here, wishing that that thief is alive. What is wrong with you? But mother, did she really steal the jewel? Of course she did. I caught her with them. She stole them. Forget her. She's gone forever. And what will happen to Baku? How? Both of them were very close to each other. Oh well, let him go and look for her in the belly of the animal that ate her up in the bush. <laughs> oh. Poor Semira. So that is the way she has gone. Oh well, that is the way of thieves in Umabacha. They end up in the evil forest of Hotakago. Hey! Forget them! We have everything we want now. The whole world. This entire kingdom. Elders of Umabasha, I welcome all of you. Thank you. Right. you Mazimbaka, you will live long. Members of the royal family, I welcome all of you. Your Majesty the Queen, I welcome you. You will live to enjoy your life, Mbaka. Today is a very important day to us. And to Umabacha. Before the king died, 
he left instructions on how the palace should be run. He also left a will. All members of the royal family are involved in this will. Whether servants or freeborns. So we are here to execute that will. It is painful that one of the wives, Emira and her daughter, are not available. Why do you have to bother yourself about the dead when the will is supposed to be read for the living? They have lost out. Just go ahead. Your Majesty, please allow me to carry out my assignments the way it should be. Mazimbaka, please go ahead. There were two wives and two daughters at the time the will was drawn up. Today we have just one wife and one daughter. And one servant. Don't forget Baku. Oh yes. Baku also. He's also mentioned in the will. What? Yes. Our wife. Please stop interrupting Mazimbaka. So he left instructions that his two daughters should make any choice from the palace, each of them. Since we have only one daughter here, we invite her to come and make her choice. Ijamaka. Ijamaka. So get up and make your choice. Why you? Why you? I Samira! Samira is here, look! Why you? Samira! Samira! Yeah, yeah. Mazimbaka. She is innocent. I dance of Uma Bacha. I greet you. Welcome. People of Uma Bacha. Keep the peace. She is not completely innocent until her accuser has been handled by the gods. <clears throat> Give her the chair. Before you arrived, we were on the verge of executing your father's will. There he said that his two daughters should make any choice, each of you, from the palace. Ijamaka was about making her choice when you walked in. She will still go ahead and make her choice. After that, you can make your own choice. Your father's girls. I want all my father's cows. Samira, make your own choice. People of Uma Bacha, Bako is my choice. Uma Bacha, Gwen! Uma Bacha, Gwen! Uma Bacha, Gwen! Gwen! Semira, why? Why? Why have you decided to retain me in eternal slavery? I want my freedom! I want freedom! I don't want to remain as a slave forever, please! <laughs> Let me go. Bako, calm down. The king was plain 
that since he had no male child, the kinship of Uma Bacha should pass on to you. What? So going by his will, you are the king of Uma Bacha. I'm going by Samira's choice. She has become your wife, and therefore the queen of Umabacha. That is not possible. Yes. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. Yes! I killed him! I killed him! I killed him! He transferred the love he had for me to Amira and Samira! Yes! And you! I set you up so the two into the evil forest! Were you? 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 Were